Hey guys, this is Mr. C with the video on how to do today's math. So let's go ahead and get rid of the example here. Um, when you get to this slide, it'll have the example on there for you. This one's all done for you, but we're going to go ahead and show you how do you do all the boxes here. You're going to use the model in this pink box to fill in all these other boxes here. The green box, the blue, and the orange box. Let me go ahead and explain how to do that. So the first thing you have to really see is what the value of these cubes are. You have to know what these things are worth. And it tells you at the top here, a cube has a value of 100. So when you see a cube here, these cubes, these are worth 100. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. That's why it says 500 here. And it says a flat has a value of 10. So these flats here are each 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's why it has 80 here. Then these rods here, these rods, these rods are worth one each. One, two, three. And that's why it says three here. So this shows that this is 580 three here. And then it says the unit cubed, these little small ones here, are worth one tenth. So I see two of them here. There's two of them. That's why it's two here. Two tenths. So when you get to this slide, these will all have question marks here. They'll all be blank with question marks. Go ahead and put those back real quick. So this example has all the answers in there for you lets you know what you're going to do but when you get there it'll be um, question marks so this says create the mixed number equivalent or the fraction of decimal number that you see here in the blocks so you're going to use this model over here to fill in this this fraction here so this fraction would be remember we counted one two three four five eighty three and two tenths so we would say 583 and then we erase this and go 2 we would erase this and go 10 so this model here is worth 583 and 2 tenths and this one you'd have question marks here also and your job is to put the word form word form just means what you'd say when you look at this number you'd say 583. See, so write the words 583. That's what you'd say when you see this number. And then you'd say 2 tenths. So you'd say and 2 tenths. Okay. So this is word form. Word form is just saying in words what the number is. So you use, again, you use the model to know what the fraction is. You use that fraction to get the word form. And then you have, down here, you'd have, again, a bunch of question marks. Let me go ahead and grab those real quick. So you would have a bunch of question marks all along here. And your job then is to replace all those question marks with the information you have from this box here. So I see that this is 583, so I go, oh, it's going to be 5 in the hundreds place, 8 in the tens place, 3 in the ones place, and in the, two, in the tenths place, I know there's going to be a 2, there's 2 tenths. And then it says here, erase or delete all the question marks you don't need. Well, I don't need this question mark here. It's not being used. So that one there and that one there. Then this one, this one, this one, and this one are all not being used. So I go ahead and delete those, just erase them. So I ended up with 583.2. So all these numbers here, the decimal, the word form, and the mixed number fraction, all come from this model here. So once you know what the values are here, you can start looking at what they're worth and start filling in these boxes here. So you do the same thing on every single 
one. We'll go ahead and take a look at the other one. So on slide two, um, this is your first job you're going to do. You can see all the question marks are there. You simply click on the boxes to start changing the numbers. And you use the value up here. Now this one, the value is now changed. Remember the first one, it was worth 100 for a cube. Up here, the, the value is now 1. So you see a cube now, it's worth 1. This is not 100 and 200. This is just 1 and 2. So two whole numbers. These flats are now one tenth of these, so these are now tenths. So two, and then one tenth, two tenth, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. So two, and five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. And then five tenths. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that these are hundredths. The rods are now hundredths, so seven, seven of those, and then one, two, three, four, five, five of them that are thousands, so thousands. So you can see on this one, I chose to do the decimal first. Now that I have the decimal, I can go ahead and do the word form. Uh, so the fraction form and the word form. So this would be two and. 575 thousandths. So I put the 2 there, I put the 575 up there, and then these are thousands, so I put a thousand down there. Okay? So you use the model here to change all of these things. So I put these things back. So when you get there, you'll be able to do the math. So once you know the model, uh, the value for each one, you count the boxes or the blocks. You change the fraction, word form, and decimal form. Remember to erase, erase the the question mark you don't need. So you have um, remember that the values change. So pay attention to the value at the top there. And then at the end you have two that are a little bit different. That's why I change the colors. So for this one, it's a little, the jerk's a little bit different. This one there's no model. This one, you create the model. So move over exactly five blocks to create a model. Now your number you have to make is whatever number you want, but it has to be between one and two. So if it says a cube has a value of 10 here, well, I wouldn't be using uh, the cubes here. They're, they're 10. I have to make a number that's less than one. Oh, sorry. Um, greater than one, less than two. So somewhere between one and two. So this would be a 10. So I wouldn't use that. Um, it says the flat has a value of 1, so I might use that, 1. I have to make it bigger than 1, so it's 1 plus something else. And it says a rod has a value of uh, 1 tenth, and these are 100. So your job is to make a model here of something that's greater than 1, but less than 2. Okay. So these just get moved over. Just move them over. So you just grab them here and move them over. Um, you can see I wouldn't use two flats here because then I have a number that's greater than two. So that'd be less than two, so it'd be somewhere um, between one and two for this one. This is a little bit harder tap. Now, once you have your model set up here somewhere between one and two, you write the word form here and the standard form. The standard form is just a decimal number. So let's say I made the number. Now don't copy me, but let's say I made the number of 1, and let's say, all right, this is my model. So I have my model of 1, and 1 tenth, and 3. 3, these are hundreds. But then right now, here, for the standard form, I'll just write, just get rid of all these, these words here. My number is 1. Point. This is the tenth here, it's just one of those. 1.1 1 .1, and then 300, so 3. So the number that I have is 1, 1 tenth, and then 300. The number I have is 1.13. 1 .1, That's the standard form, just means the decimal. Okay? 
kind of like what you did over here with these numbers down here, the, the standard form down here in decimal. So you will make a model. And let me go ahead and erase that. You'll make a model of whatever number you want to, and it tells you what you have to make down here. So I also have directions here if you need it. Okay. Then you have one more task. It changes this. Um, the values change. Actually, the values. Yeah, the values do change. Pay attention to the values. And also the number you have to make here is different. So it's gonna be zero, greater than zero, less than one. The first one was uh, greater than one, but less than two. The second one is between zero and one. And also the values change. So that is the, the work for today's math. Remember the example here tells you what you're gonna be finished with. And then you do the same thing for all of these. Just remember the values change. That's why the header changes colors. And the last two are different tasks, so the headers are different. And the values ch kind of change also. For this one, you have to make your own model for these two. But for these, the model are all made for you. Okay, so that is the math for today. Um, I hope you do well. Hope you learn. And thanks for listening.